Hello and welcome to the Vulkan API trainings course by Peck Published. I am your author Kai Niklas and I will guide you through this course. In this course we will learn how to use the Vulkan API, the most modern way of graphics programming. I am a programmer myself for over 20 years now and if you have any questions during this course related to the topic, don't hesitate to contact me by the contact details given here. So let's take a look at the roadmap of the trainings course. First of all, we need to take care that we install and set up all the software that we need. This includes the Vulkan SDK and the Visual Studio 2015. Next, we will take care of the basic setup. That means we will take a look how to create a proper window and how to process the messages in a windowing system to be able to use them for our Vulkan application. Next we will take a look at the Vulkan elements. So in detail we will take a look at each of the programming concepts that we need to use in a Vulkan application, piece by piece and step by step to sum them up. Next we are going to take a look at the Vulkan shaders and the Vulkan pipeline. So we are merging everything here and make sure that we've got a render process in the end. But let's take a look at the sections in detail. So in the first section of the video we will start with the basic setup. That means we are going to take a look at our Vulkan window and how to create it properly. We need to make sure that we understand the window main function. And we need to understand how to create a window in Windows which allows us to use Vulkan. Next we will take care of the messaging system in Windows so our application knows when it needs to do what. In the second section of the video we will take a closer look at the Vulkan elements. So we will start with an overview over the elements which we are going to use. We will take a look at the Vulkan instance, this is the basis of our program. We will take a look at the surface which will allow us to present information on the screen. We are going to take a look at the devices, the logical and the physical device. We are going to take a look at the swap chain which will help us to present data on the screen. We are going to take a look at the images and the image views. And we will talk about the queues as well. The queues will help us to process data. And we will take a look at the frame buffers, which allow us to store the information the proper way. In the third section of the video, we will take a look at the Vulkan output. So how do we generate output to the window that we've created? We will take a look how to load 3D data and to move it to the graphic card. We will get to know the vertex shader, which is processing geometric information. And we will take a look at the fragment shader, which is processing every single pixel. Once we've done the shaders, we will take a look at how to load them properly. And we will need the descriptors and the bindings to send data to the shaders. In the end, we will put this all together in the Vulkan pipeline to merge all the code we've written before. So in the end, we can do the final render call and present something on the screen. So this was a rough overview of what we're going to do. So let's get started.